because Medicare and Medi-Cal tend to reimburse less, is it more incentivized for companies to not accept Medicare and Medi-Cal? And that's where the limitation comes into play when you talk about what's the downside to having Medicare is that there are a lot of entities that just will not accept, like the number of providers that will accept Medicare and Medi-Cal is a lot less than the ones that will accept commercial. So that, that top tier doctor, the one that's top in the world at his field of study, doesn't accept Medicare and Medi-Cal. You know, you're kind of relegated to a lower rung or a lower tier of care. Um, and that is a downside. I mean, it's a real downside that everyone's aware of. And, you know, you have to do... Um, you know, there's a lot of screening that gets involved on, you know, that's why everyone kind of asks for your insurance card up front with a lot of these things, but it, it is, it's a, it's a real, it's a real problem and it's a real issue, um, that, you know, all this stuff gets negotiated higher than my pay grade, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the biggest limitation is your access to care. 